Hey everyone, Techno Mitchell here with a video for you guys. Now you might be encountering this issue where it says time limit, you reached your time limit on a specific app, maybe TikTok, maybe Venmo, maybe any other app that you have and you might be trying to ignore it or click OK and you can't do it or you might want to completely remove this option. So these are the steps you want to follow to fix this problem. So the first thing is you have to understand when you see those limits, it's set on your phone setting. So Go into your setting on your iPhone and then find screen time. From screen time here, you're going to look for app limits. And right here, it shows me that I have limits on two apps here. For example, if I tap over here, it's going to prompt for the passcode for your screen time, which may be different from your phone's passcode. So you're going to enter that passcode wherever that you set it to. And you can see right here, I have an app limit turned on for one hour every day for these two apps. So each time I reach one hour, it'll give me that pop-up message preventing from me from using that app. Now, what I can do is a couple things here. I can adjust that time to more. Maybe I want to move it to two hours. If you want longer every day, you can do that. Or if you wanted to completely remove or turn this off, you can go ahead and turn it off just like that and it'll be turned off. And you can always come back and turn it back on. Now, final thing you can also do is if you don't want any limits at all, you can completely come here and delete that and that will also fix that issue and you can always come back to put a limit. So that's going to be one way to do it. Now, if you're still seeing the issue with it, the next thing you want to check out in your settings is go to general, check out date and time, make sure that it's selected to set automatically here and if the date and time is not correct here, you want to manually adjust that date and time on your phone. It should be the time zone that you're in in your local time. Now once you have done that, it's time to go ahead and do the next step which is closing out the app that's giving you the issue. So you're going to swipe up and then swipe up just like that or you can close out all the apps. Now once you have a, a done that and you closed out the app, you're going to go ahead and if you're still having the issue, go ahead and do this process. You're going to quickly press and release the volume up volume down one after another and then hold on to this big side button until the screen goes completely black and the Apple logo appears. So I'm going to quickly press and release volume up, volume down, and then I hold on to the side button just like that and we're going to wait until the screen goes completely black and the Apple logo reappears on our screen here before we let go again. And we just let go after we see the Apple logo and that's basically shutting down the phone software, reloading the code. So if it's a software related issue, which most likely is a reason uh, that's causing this issue, it's going to go ahead and fix it and you should not have any issues. After doing this, this method is safe. It will not delete any of your data and you might need to do it a few times if it doesn't work the very first time to get it to do this. So that's how you fix this problem. I hope this video is helpful. So Please consider the like and subscribe button for more tips and tricks for your iPhone. We'll see you guys next time.